Okay, in this video, we're going to address the WebOS 3.0.2 update. Now, this update increases the system performance and stability and supposedly addresses a couple of bugs. Now, right now, I have the tablet off. I'm going to turn it on, so I'm just going to hit the power button up here. Okay, I turned the device on, and I'm going to go to my settings here. And let's see, click on settings. And I'm going to go to system updates over here. I'm going to click on system updates and it's going to check for updates. And here it says HP Web OS 3.0.2 68 is now available. It's about 38 megabytes. It says we'll download it over the next couple of days when your device is idle and a high speed network is available. You'll be notified when the update is ready to install. Well, I want to download it right now. So I'm going to click download it now and it's downloading. It says HP Web OS 3.0.2.68 is currently downloading. You'll be notified when the update is ready to install. And down here I have a status bar where it says downloading. So while that's doing that, I'm just going to explain to you what the update includes. Now, like I said, it increases the system performance and stability and addresses a couple of bugs. And the improvements are in core applications and the calendar. And it supposedly gives you a quicker just type event search and event creation and improved handling of meeting cancellations. The email has faster scrolling improved message content and image display, and improved management of multiple emails in draft and outbox views. As far as music is concerned, it has reduced audio skipping when the device is running other applications, and better display of album art. As far as photos and videos are concerned, there's added availability to set wallpapers, so you can actually use a photo that you've taken and use that as your wallpaper. Uh, there's faster and more reliable handling of individual photos and albums. There's also been an improvement in the text assist, and that improves the speed and accuracy of auto corrections. As far as the web is concerned, there's increased scrolling support compatibility within web pages, improved performance of remote HTML5 video playback, and improved responsiveness of autocorrection within the browser itself. The WebOS system itself has been improved and it fixed the issue with the oversensitive screen rotation. Uh, I found that uh, it would be a little bit sensitive to rotating the screen orientation from landscape to portrait and vice versa, so hopefully that fixes that. And also there has been a security update. This release addresses a number of security issues with HP WebOS software. Now it says it's unpacking, so once all this process is done, I'll rejoin you and just go over a couple of the things that I discussed and show you the upgrades to WebOS 3.0.2. So I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, pretty much everything looks the same here. That's because all the changes were done under the hood, but hopefully this minimizes or eliminates some of the bugs that uh, you might have been experiencing with your first generation WebOS 3.0 device. Uh, a lot of the things, like I said, are under the hood. The just type has been improved to improve calendar search. Uh, there's faster scrolling on the email. I don't have my email hooked up to this device here, so I can't show you that. Uh, the music app has been updated and looks a little bit different here. You can use photos now. Uh, I don't know if I have any photos on this device here. I don't think I actually do. But uh, you can use photos uh, now for your uh, background, for your wallpapers. And let's see, I do have some screen captures here. Well, I have one of the, <laughs> the actual... Uh, device itself so but uh, you can use well actually let me see my profile pictures here there I've got a picture there that's my Facebook profile picture let me uh, click on that and make that a wallpaper let's see let's go down here and it says set as wallpaper so let's set that as the wallpaper and go back here There, it's my wallpaper. Real tiny on there, so you'd probably want to pick a better picture that's larger, but that's just a, an example of how you can set your wallpapers now from pictures that you have on the device. The text assist has been updated, so there's better accuracy for auto corrections. So when you type something, it's gonna be a little bit better for that. So that's pretty much that. 
Uh, I'll keep you posted and let you know if there's anything that uh, is spectacular or, or a standout uh, with this update. But uh, that pretty much does it for this video. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And I will see you next time.